assalamu alaikum today we are discussing about um, high speed rail pantograph a problem uh, in which we deal with uh, several electromechanical uh, problems so first of all we we are going to read this problem or understand this problem to understand this problem we have to know that what is pantograph a pantograph is an elbow shaped like device that is connected to the catenary so what is catenary catenary is a kind of this this is catenary it holds uh, electricity to provide uh, voltage or supply to the pantograph pantograph so that it can uh, deal with the so that it can supply its supply uh, voltages to the train so pantograph uh, is an elbow like device and uh, it gave, provides voltage to the train it is a clean method clean and very eco friendly method so uh, uh, that we use this kind of uh, machineries so that we can uh, protect our uh, atmosphere like using a diesel and a coal engine trains so basically we have our problem basically we have to deal uh, we uh, were assigned this problem to explain it to you but as you see the this problem includes to another problem first uh, of chapter 1 problem 21 and second is uh, of chapter 2 that is uh, and second is chapter 2 this is the problem so in order to understand or this main problem we have to go through these problems so that we can uh, understand them to understand this problem so in this problem uh, the uh, the author want from us to draw a block diagram and um, he gave us force up what is force up force up is a force that uh, moves from the pantograph to the catenary force up is basically here it moves from pantograph to catenary and uh, spring displacement and spring displacement and controller and transducer and sensor they want us to draw a block diagram using these things so first here is desired force and that is going through the input transducer what is input uh, what is transducer a transducer is a device that converts variation in a physical quantity such as pressure or brightness into an electrical signal or vice versa by it is clear from the transducer it is very easy to understand it's working then there is another uh, component actuator here yeah. controller we know what is controller actuator actuator is a device that causes a machine or other device to operate and here is pantograph dynamic this and uh, it is producing a force up, up towards the catenary and uh, 
there are springs here to maintain it to balance the pentagram and there we got f out and uh, there we have uh, a unity sensor here uh, unity feedback that includes a sensor and uh, it goes back to make the input right so that we can get a desired output now we are going to the second part of our main problem you see here we have covered this problem now we are covering this problem of chapter 2 to understand our main problem The, this is the main mechanical diagram and uh, it simplifies it into this diagram so that we can easily understand so what is kabe kabe is catenary represented by the spring and uh, what is fvf fvf is equal to frame suspension FVH head suspension, MH head mass, KS pentagraph shoe. Here I have solved this question. We have three unknowns, that's why we are going to have three equations. And uh, by taking determinant here, we can find their answer very easily. Now, as we have seen both part of our main question, problem 21 and problem 67. Now we are moving toward our main question. Our main question includes that Basically, uh, here I want to add some and uh, an, another information that O'Connor 1997. If you write this on Google, you will find its whole history. Uh, the issue that we are discussing here. This is basically an issue that is being that was be resolved by this. Uh, so we now create a pantograph active control loop by adding the following component your function functional block diagram found in problem 21 chapter 1 input transducers here we have uh, that diagram will remain same but uh, a, but we have some uh, values to sign those components and then we have to draw the functional block diagram again as we draw it earlier, just giving them values. Here, yeah. this diagram is same. Input transducer, input voltage, controller, actuator, pantograph, dynamic, spring, run and out, and a sensor for feedback. The only change here is that we gave them values. I have it. there is a unity feedback here and this is uh, basically it was the demand uh, in question one uh, in our main questions part one that we have a unity feedback then we have find GFS it is given um, where we just put their values then uh, for transfer function where we have find transfer function and uh, after transfer function we are solving c part in which uh, we have found uh, using those equations and uh, transfer function and uh, using part a 
we have uh, made a phase variable form converting it into phase variable form ap bp cp and uh, using these phase variable form we have draw our flow signal diagram it is same like a, a functional block diagram but a, a, there's a little bit change in it in just trying it now our c part continues we are writing set equations now and uh, here we have f out it is a known method we have uh, used them in uh, chapter 3 2 and 3 after that uh, we have uh, converted into matrix form by using these equations and uh, this x dot is basically this form is basically is a x plus b u here t is u and this is b and this is a x y is equal to f out and we have this output equation now i have uh, done it on simulation a yeah, num means numerator then mean denominator and then we plot it we get this response then i use uh, the function transfer function this transfer function here here to get uh, to uh, verify my output that it is same or not and it is quite same so I will you see it is quite same so we are going to do it on an uh, online software Num. This is command prompt. If you don't have MATLAB, you can use Octave Online. In this form, we have to uh, write in specific order. Like, uh, yeah, if we have s raised to power four, and then we have s raised to power two, and we have if we don't have any thing that has s raised to power raised to power uh, two, then we have to uh, put zeros, the missing power in the place of the missing powers otherwise it will not give you desired output
my typing is quite slow that's why it is taking some time I have wrote that line. I want to show in the transfer function, but I again wrote it wrong because uh, it is not wrong, but I place semicolon in the end. Yeah, here you see transfer function. This is transfer function. It is same I told you before. No. We are giving it time. So that uh, it can uh, uh, give us the you know, specific order. T is equal to zero ratio. Zero. Okay. Now we are going to uh, plot it. Now we are going to plot it. So that we can see our Z. You are seeing it. Uh, uh, it is looking quite different because it is very uh, near. Um, in now you can understand it is quite same um, it had it is because of online i'm using uh, online uh, here i can't zoom it but um, unfortunately my matlab uh, doesn't run again correctly that's why i am using octave online uh, and i'm sure you quite understand this problem so for further and understanding you can use these links these are two youtube's links here you can see it's working and understanding of pentagraph and catenary
here you can find uh, uh, simulation and um, uh, simulation and other information about uh, this project um, basically the uh, this is not a simple problem it is a it is a very difficult and final year kind of problem so you have to understand this 